Hello friends, this is Sharon from Natural Awakenings Magazine, and this morning I am joined by Dr. Larry Arbeitman of Upper Cervical Chiropractic. Dr. Larry has been serving the community for 17 years and has helped thousands of patients. Dr. Larry is also the very first advertiser who signed up with us when I bought Natural Awakenings seven years ago, so <laughs> thank you Dr. Larry. And uh, today he's going to tell us about how his practice is responding so you can get the help if you need it. So please tell us, Dr. Larry, and thank you for being here. Oh, thank you. This is an honor and a privilege. And anytime anybody clicks to, to listen to me, um, I am thankful for that. Um, you know, uh, eventually this is all going to pass and we're going to look back on this period of time. And it's very easy for people to lead when everything's going right and everything's going well. But really, true leadership and true servants show up at times of crisis. And when people look back on this period of time, I want the community to know that we were there for them now more than ever. And the last time we had a lead through a crisis was, um, and it's really not comparable, but it was Hurricane Sandy. And uh, we were closed for 10 days because of the loss of power. Patients had lost their homes. There was an unbelievable amount of stress and disarray going on in our community. And we showed up. I was in there with a headlamp and lanterns taking care of people um, at a time when people needed it most. And so we did have to close our practice last week for two days to figure out our safety protocols and procedures because quite honestly, as a chiropractor for 17 years, um, I never had to deal with infection control. I mean, we always kept things clean, of course, but this was another whole nother level. And just in those two days, Sharon, patients were contacting me left and right, saying, you need to reopen. When are you gonna reopen? And um, we serve a essential part um, uh, of the healthcare system. And I am so thankful that Governor Murphy recognized that and um, allowed uh, offices such as ourselves to remain open. And the reason we opened is because there are basically three types of people that need our care. There, we, first of all, I should say we take care of hundreds of people in the community. We um, have a very large practice, one of the largest practices in the, in the country. And um, so we just service lots of families. And there are patients that have acute needs. Um, since I reopened, um, which was last Saturday, um, patients have come in with migraines, and inability to walk. Um, they're in active treatment plans. They're so grateful. They're so thankful. There's patients with chronic uh, symptoms that were scared to leave the house, but our office is the only place that they'll go. Um, and they said, I thought I could, I could make it, but I need this care to be able to take care of myself. We are keeping people out of the healthcare system, out of the emergency room, out of their doctor's offices. And then the third type of client, and I'm so grateful for Natural Awakening, Sharon, because so many of our patients have come from Natural Awakenings. I will share a quick Natural Awakenings testimony. Thank you. We had a new patient last week, 91 years old, married found us in Natural Awakenings two years ago. She said, I finally need the help and I'm ready to come. And she came in last week in the middle of the outbreak um, uh, for care. And we got her her first adjustment yesterday, 91. Her arms were going numb. In the middle of the night, she can't sleep. Wow. So, that, so, so health problems don't stop because there's a pandemic. That's my point. And then the third type of patient, and many of your listeners, are those that are trying to do whatever they can to optimize their body's response. Because the truth is, and this is a sobering truth, we may all get exposed, or many of us may get exposed. And this is what I shared in my video, and we're gonna make this video, I, I filmed a presentation um, two days ago in my office to give um, our community more strategy. Because simply hand washing, social distancing, and paying attention to early signs and symptoms all sound uh, um, uh, recommendations, and those are all recommendations that we are supporting in our office, but they're not enough. Because if we are exposed, we have to, our body has to have the ability to fight an infection. And the statistics are showing us that 80, approximately 80% 80 of people who, um, who are, contract this, uh, this illness um, will move through it with mild symptomatology. Um, and we now know that anywhere from 97 to 98 to 99 plus percent are gonna survive. And my message to our community is, if you contract this, which percentage are you gonna be in? 
And largely the action steps you take right now, like right now can determine that. And so um, there is more in control than, than we have. And I put that all into a presentation, about a 45 minute presentation that will give you mindset because this has to be there first if the behavior is ever going to happen the headset's got to be there first so i am not a guru sharon but i've been practicing for 17 years i've taken care of thousands of people and i'm a practitioner with a big heart and i understand patient psychology and how it affects their body and so i believe that if they take the 45 minutes to watch with their family it can make a profound impact on their health right. and so great, great. that's Thank what and it's going to be linked with this when I blast it out. <laughs> so that's why we reopened, basically. Um, to, and, and, to, and I believe that chiropractic care is an essential part of that preventative strategy. So how, how, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you right now? Yeah, so our office is open, 732-617-9355. Uh, um, if people want to find me directly, you can go out onto our Facebook page, Upper Cervical Chiropractic of Monmouth, and you can message me through there. My email address, and you can put this all in the links, um, dra, so Dr. A at getwellnj.com. You can email me directly. I am totally plugged in. I am, I am working around the clock to service our community. We're located in Marlboro in the same shopping center on Route 9 that the Home Depot and the ShopRite are in. So, you know, it's interesting what they've deemed essential. It's like the liquor store is open, the <laughs> chiropractor, the grocer, and the home improvement all, all place. So, but we are there, and we're there to service our community, and it's an honor to do so. And um, I believe you have some testimonials to share with us about how patients really are feeling safe in your office. Yeah, so I am really confident about the safety protocols that we put in place. Um, it's well thought through and well researched. In fact, on Saturday, I had a patient come in who is basically running command and control for a big hospital system down in South Jersey. And, um, and she's one of 17 people coordinating this effort. And she said to me that her outpatient clinics are actually modeling our procedures. That's how tight they are. So, um, and then we ha I just received another testimony yesterday uh, from a patient that we saw on Tuesday. She said, thank you for being here to serve your patients during this troubling time. Your communication is outstanding, your concern is sincere, and your hope-filled messages are uplifting. I felt very safe at the office on Tuesday. Great protocols in place. I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of that, that we're making it uh, safe and available for people in our community. Well done, Dr. Larry. Um, and thank you so much because so many people need resources and help. And our community has really come together to respond to that. And you, you're at the forefront, so thank you. And is there anything else you wanna leave people with before we say goodbye? Yeah, I, I, you know, I wanna say there's basically uh, very, very little at times that we feel um, during times of crisis that we feel that we have control over, but there is actually more that you can control in your life than you may be aware. And you can control your perceptions, you can control your thoughts, and you can control your behaviors. This is why people went out and bought toilet paper, because it gave them a sense of control um, at a time where they felt so out of control. So my message to you is there's never been a better time or, or more of an incentive to take care of your health. Natural Awakenings has served as a great resource for information and for providers, and I would recommend wholly, wholly to tap into that. But just the fact that you go out and you, and you make the right food choice, or you choose to exercise, or you choose to get that extra hour of sleep, or you, you choose to stay vigilant with your supplements, that, that's going to give you a sense of control that you're moving things forward at a time of uncertainty. Thank you, Dr. Larry. And for everyone watching, please definitely click on the link to watch the full 45 minute presentation. There's so much good advice and you'll come out of it feeling empowered. So thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. Have a great day. I'd be well.